Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have another player review to do. Uh, we're taking a look at the new flashback Medell card. Uh, this is a cool card just because of the links to Arnautovic and I always forget that dude's name, Posh. Was it Posh? <laughs> I think it was Posh. Um, yeah, he looks pretty dope. Looks pretty dope. He's five foot seven, medium high work rates, right footed, three star skills, four star weak foot. So... The main things about this card is obviously going to be in defensive capabilities because he doesn't have shooting and his dribbling is on the lower side, so he just has to be a defensive monster. Okay, so CDM, center back position, center mid position. It wouldn't be bad to start him off in a five back and then rotate him into the midfield area if you need to do that, you know what I'm saying? So it's cool that he has that center back position change because I don't really think you'd want to use a card like this at center back by any means necessary <laughs> uh player traits he has dies into tackles which could be very nice we've never confirmed if it actually is really nice or not but it just seems like that when people have that trait their tackle animations are crazy you know uh okay so let's see what this card gets i'm curious because does he turn into an explosive is he a lengthy let's see what are we working with here Medell? Okay, so Medell here is only controlled, so no lengthy on him, no explosive. Okay, so you boost his acceleration to be at an 88 to 84 for sprint speed. Defensive stats also massively increased to be in a very good area while working with a medium high work rate. He's a shorter player, but he has a stocky body type while being five foot seven. Okay, then for physical stats, he actually has some pretty decent physical stats too. So it's mainly... I guess the, the main concern would be, like, the height, for the most part. Yeah, I think the height would be the, the main concern. But, uh, yeah, definitely an interesting card. Definitely an interesting card. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and unlock the card. and Because apparently he's, like, three different squads, which is why the like-to-dislike ratio is so similar to each other. Um, but regardless, we're going to see if he plays well in-game, right? We're going to see. So, yeah, let me just go ahead and unlock the card. And I'll show you guys how we line him up. Yo, EA, where's the love like this for the FC Porto players? Like, three Bologna players, huh? Okay, okay. Don't worry about Jack Grealish being there. It's just, I don't want to do a position change just for the sake of doing a CDM review. Because as long as he is on three points, that's all I care about, right? So, um, because normally it would be Jota there, but Jota's a striker. And then depending on the reviews, you guys, you guys know. Anyways, listen. Uh, with this card, we could do, we could do 4 2 three, one. Yeah, we can do 4-2-3-1. Take this out. Oh, okay, so 4-2-3-1, and then... Yeah, we can play him there. Do that, do that, do that, do that. It honestly doesn't matter. The attack, I couldn't care less about. <laughs> All right. All right, let's go see what he's like, guys. Hopefully, he's a beast. Oh, for those of you wondering about the Foot Champs highlights for the uh, Road to Glory account, we'll do that today. My... my uh. My area was kind of occupied with stuff being done, so yeah. I mean, in a situation like that, he actually felt pretty agile. I'm not gonna lie to you. Ooh, almost, almost. Oh, get it. There you go. The track back here. <laughs> Why does that look so funny, dude? It, it's like it's like he's it's like he's running with like small steps. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean it in the sense of like the accelerate type, because I'm pretty sure if it's lengthy, like he's faster, you know? Nice. Nice challenge there, I'll take that. Pulling him and this guy, he's literally one of my all-time favorite foot cards because he's literally the best CDM I've ever had. Port that's Portuguese. Nicely done. Oh, give me a Portuguese Arnautovic, please. I need one. A medium low, medium low work rated monster. That was a really well-weighted pass.
Yeah, see, that's that's always the thing, right? Like with CDMs is the height. Height is always nice to have for those uh, certain challenges. Well, the general area. That pass by him. Sometimes you try like challenges from behind the person to see if they do like some sort of like crazy animation, you know? Will I get that? Yeah, no chance. Not even a crazy jumping animation. Bernardo Silva with the defense. Pass the weak foot. GG's to EA, by the way, is, uh, for fixing the flick ups. Like they actually respond properly nowadays. And try the shot, why not? Okay, so that's his track back there, right? Back in position. Guy's gonna get the lob. I'm gonna do this. Manual goalkeeping. Oh! Oh. Sure, sure. I wish there was like a magnetized thing there. <clears throat> Since you block the general area, you know? But sometimes it doesn't really do much. No, bad pass off by me. Wow, this guy has scored three horrible... Like, if I cared about the types of goals that I was conceding, he has scored three horrible goals. That is bad. Yeah, so that's why he's, like, behind, right? So, I'm always going to tell you guys, with CDMs, right, I always prefer the taller players with lengthy because it really makes a huge difference. Like, that's why Valverde and um, Palinga are so good because they're just taller players with that lengthy and it's super helpful to work with, you know? It's a well-weighted initial pass. Nothing there. He does magnetize there. I, could, I felt that one. Okay, what do I need to do this time? So, this 4 2 3 1 from Boris Legend. Um, we actually recently have been using the more defensive oriented player on stay back. Like, that's the only change. And it's been uh, drastically better, to be honest with you, while working with the other car that actually pushes forward. So, let's keep him on stay back on the right side this time and um, put a car like Benassar on the pitch and see what's up. No crazy reach there. Oh, give me a Portuguese Arnado finish, man. Oh, I need him, dude. I need a Portuguese Arnado finish. There we go. Utilizing the pace there. Nicely done. Don't see they actually work properly now. Yeah, so that's me uh, trying out like the pace part of the card while being controlled. Goes for an animation, gets nothing. Magnetizes that one too, but weird to magnetize there since nowhere near the ball, right? I think it's gonna be the same thing right it's just like height is nice to have when you're playing these cards in the actual cdm position like you're gonna miss out on that part from time to time right oh do we get that um i should have just uh just dribbled it you know no animation there but we do get the ball which is what we need Pass the ball off the weak foot. Good stuff. 
Oh my goodness. And Arnautovic is a monster. Interception. The weak foot too. No way back to him. There we go. Vault. Touch. His dribbling is like not the craziest, like on the ball. Ah, oh, would have been nice to score with him since his shooting is not great. We'll collect that. Pass it downwards. Oh, weird challenge. Uh, we're good. Ah. Oh. It's that like, it's that like, um, it's the pace part with the body, the controlled, the height, you know? Like that type of stuff I'm telling you, like when you use the taller guys that are lengthy, they're crazy to use, man. That's what I want. Okay, so chase after. Got it. Let's go. Attackers that are explosive are, is not like the real test because for people to get through on goal, it's the lengthy players, right? But... Regardless on the explosive, he still does okay. Oh, nothing there, unfortunately. Ooh, double challenge there. Let's go. That chase after is like not the craziest. Good challenge again. Possession base, good. Nice. Good challenge again. It's a good pass. I like the pass. I'm trying not to score too much so they don't leave, you know? Nothing there as well. But, uh, nothing there either. Oh, we're good. No, get back. No. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new flashback Medell card. So, uh, you know, you can obviously change them from center back, center mid, and CDM. But the main position I see this card being used in is CDM. Preferably in probably a two midfield formation because of the fact that he's a smaller player. And, um... Uh, you know, there's, there's some smaller players that when you use them in that position, they're fine to work with. In his case, I feel like he's missing certain things for him to be a little bit better, right? So in my opinion, with the SBC being around 60 something K, um, I feel like they should have valued him around the same price range of Arnautovic and Posh because the card doesn't feel that crazy special in game. Uh, he just feels like the type of card that you unlock just to be able to get um, the links to both Posh and Arnautovic because those two SBCs were great value, right, for Syria center backs that give you that triple link setup. Um, so, yeah, this SBC definitely exists just to give you those links for those cards. Um, it's not like a crazy card in game, though. Like, I feel like in the CDM position, uh, it's definitely preferable, you know, to use a card that is taller preferably with a lengthy as well uh and even if you're playing on the old gen version of the game it's the same thing you just give him a shadow chemistry style right um you know using the valverdes using the uh palinias and stuff uh even like a casemiro i feel like you're going to notice more of a difference with those cards than you will with a card like medell because with medell being shorter you'll notice that from time to time with him being a controlled player on a shadow chemistry style uh, his defending is decent but there's moments where if he had other attributes um, he would be really nice to work with, right? Like, like I said, with lengthy, when it comes to like the chase after for lengthy players when they're taller, it's super, super helpful to work with because what they do is when they challenge from behind, they sometimes will go to the side of the attacker and then be able to challenge the ball, get it, and then move forward, right? And that's something that you definitely miss a lot with Medell once people pass him, right? So, um, like I said, this card as an SBC, uh, in my opinion, it exists to give you those links to uh, players like Arnautovic and Posh. 
In-game quality-wise, though, I think that Posh and Arnautovic were definitely better choices, especially Arnautovic. I think he's his his value as an SPC is one of the best so far this year, if not the best so far this year. 20k for this card is a joke. He's so good, honestly. Um, and I think the same thing with Posh, too, because, guys, with Posh, right? So he's medium-medium work rated. This card, I mean, don't get me wrong, he's not like the full meta cards, but like for that triple link setup is sick to work with for a card that is 18k on a lengthy, right? So I don't get that same feeling of quality when it comes to Medell in game, uh, but he's still okay to use, right? Because in this year's game, the usability of players is significantly better. So, you know, if it was me and this guy was Portuguese or he played for a Portuguese league team, sure, he'd probably get into the squad, right? But you know, if I was, you know, doing some Portuguese things, I'd probably still use a Paling and Ronaldo Sanchez because those cards in this gameplay, I mean, you kind of need the meta, right? Like, a, at least a little bit in those areas. So, um, yeah, as an SPC, if you guys want to unlock it, it's more for the links than it is for the quality in game. He wasn't that crazy special, in my opinion, um, especially for the price range that he's at. Should have been around the same price range of uh, Arnautovic and Posh, in my opinion, because I think 60-something K is a little bit crazy for... Uh, what he offers in game if, if there was like a triple link thing that would have been cool but yeah um it's still a decent card right just nothing crazy special i'd still rather use a different type of player in that position so um yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this video i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys